How to set up a DLNA server on your Raspberry Pi This tutorial assumes that you already have an external drive mounted on your Raspberry Pi and that it is accessible from the directory slash media slash USB underscore drive. For details on how to set up an external drive use the link in the comments below. To view details of the steps taken and the commands used please use the link in the comments below. There are already a number of video and audio files on this external drive contained within a media server directory. Move to your home directory. Update your repository. Install Mini DLNA. Edit the Mini DLNA config file. Edit the media directory to point to your media files. Remove the hash sign and give your server a friendly name. Remove the hash sign so that I notify is set to yes. Mini DLNA will now automatically index new media files as they are added to your media directory. Press Ctrl X. Press Y. Press Return. Restart the Mini DLNA service. Your media files should now be available to any DLNA client on your network. To view details of the steps taken and the commands used please use the link in the comments below. This tutorial was demonstrated using a Raspberry Pi 2B running Raspbian Stretch.